To talk about Juneteenth, I have to first give honor to a Topeka civil rights pioneer in activism, and that is Mr. Sonny Scroggins. Um, it was because of Mr. Scroggins that I learned anything about Juneteenth. Uh, for those of you who know him, you know he has uh, demonstrated um, uh, tireless efforts in order to keep Topekans and others throughout our nation aware, and as the young people say today, awoke. And in finding out about Juneteenth or June 19th, um, he would sponsor, along with others, many early activities in the Topeka community that involved churches within the community and individuals so that we had an opportunity to come together, to uh, enjoy fellowship through picnics, through religious worship services. There was many a year that Faith Temple Church uh, postponed their regular Sunday service to have an outdoor Juneteenth celebration with the, with the Topeka community at Hillcrest. But kind of going back to that concept of being woke, um, as I look at uh, the things that are going on in the world even today, uh, Juneteenth represented that in those times. There were people in Texas, slaves, former slaves, who did not know that they had been emancipated. And it took uh, the, getting that word um, that we celebrate on June 19th in order to help them become woke. And so even today, as we are aware of the continuation of a number of injustices in uh, Topeka, in the United States, and even throughout the world, we have to look to those individuals who are brave enough to stand on the forefront, uh, call out what's going on for what it is, um, help those who don't understand to begin this journey of gaining knowledge and true understanding so that we can all know that we are liberated and others can realize that we're no longer slaves, but we are free people. And uh, not just because of someone signing some declaration, but more so because of who we understand we are as humans and as individuals and as people of various colors. And the color is what makes us all so beautiful. So I'll stop there because my dog is barking, but um, that's why I know about Juneteenth. Thank you, Mr. Sonny Scroggins, for all you do. And um, let us all come together to continue uh, this work throughout Topeka and even beyond, because it is important to make sure that every living human being has that opportunity to be woke.